close your eyes. Visualize yourself where you'll be in five years time if you stay focused and disciplined every day. You live in a mansion. You wake up, you go to the gym, which is in the next room, then you go for a swim in the pool outside. You drive to work in your Lamborghini. You walk through the door. Everyone says hi. They all know you. Of course they do. You're the CEO. But wait. What will happen if we continue to let procrastination take control of our life? What will happen if we keep failing and keep failing and getting kicked out of university and get a basic job but get fired within a few weeks? Close your eyes. Where will you be in 10 years time or 20 years time? If you continue being lazy and doing nothing, how many jobs have you been fired from? How many partners have left you? How much debt are you in? How much weight have you put on? Where are your friends and family now? Because you didn't chase your dreams and you just gave up. If you're okay with that, if you're okay with the outcome and the life you will live, if you don't sort your priorities out, then great, go ahead. No one's stopping you. But if it scares you, if it instills a sense of fear within you, then you better do something about it. Because your life can be every bit like you dream it. And even if you fail, well, at least you made it halfway there. At least you put in the effort and you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, I tried my best, but I lost to a better man. And I'm okay with that. And you can sleep soundly at night, knowing that you gave it everything you've got. That's how I see it. I want to see how far I can go. I want to see what kind of life I can live. I want to see how high I can climb. I want to see how much I can accomplish. And once I reach that level of success, when I have wealth, health, love, and happiness in my life, I can give. I can be the best father I can be. I can support my family. I can spread the love and joy that I have radiating from me. I can financially help those less fortunate than me. I can be the person that I have always dreamt of being. The failure to stay motivated can destroy you internally. Because part of you knows how good your life could be if you got it together and just studied whenever you needed to study. But another part of you wants to feel good right now. And studying doesn't make you feel good right now. You have a part of you deep inside that wants to excel in your exams and succeed in life. But then, there's another part of you that constantly wants to sacrifice studying and educating yourself and making progress for instant gratification. It's part of you that doesn't care about the long term. It doesn't care about where you're going to be in 10 years time. A lot of people look up to and idolize those who are motivated and disciplined with their studying. But you don't need to do this. Become motivated yourself. As Owen Cook puts it, success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Each task is small, tiny even. It's like that quiet walk to the library, that empty 24-7 library late at night, over and over and over. Or, as I sit there studying other great people and I compare their actions with my own actions, over and over and over. Or, as I sit doing 30 minutes of meditation a day, over and over and over. Making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters over and over and over. It's a very quiet process where you're doing these simple little tasks, but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not this big thing where you do this one thing and something big happens. It's every decision you make to wake up early rather than have a lion. It's every decision you make to study rather than procrastinate. To study at home and study for an exam coming tomorrow morning. 
rather than hanging out with friends. It's these small decisions that all add up into huge success. Being able to make a success out of your life, it's not purely down to luck. You have more control in it than you think. You can decide to be successful. You can decide to have the fast cars and the big house. And it starts right here with your studying. Not because getting good grades is going to bring you success in the future. It's about the work ethic and the attitude you have towards your studying that will transfer to your work after you graduate. It's about believing that you can achieve something and doing whatever it takes to achieve it. It's about fine-tuning the skills you have to zero in on your goals. The skills that you are improving while you're studying. Work ethic, time management, reading, critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, focus, reasoning, persuasion, organization, overcoming obstacles, self-motivation. These are all skills that all great students have improved and refined over years of efficient and effective studying. And it's these students that have made a decision that when the world is saying that's impossible, you're not capable, your dreams will stay as dreams. They have that lone voice that goes, no, you know what? It is possible. Just watch me. They have gone through this process of growth and they have pushed and pushed through all the obstacles that were thrown at them. It's important that you don't think of your studying as though it's all about passing your exams and getting a piece of paper at the end of it all so you can get a good job because it's so much more than that. And it's the great students that understand this. It's not about your exams. It's about the process and the journey you go on and the skills you refine over the years. It's about when you don't feel like studying, but you continue to push through and study anyway. Most people can study when they have no distractions, when they're in a quiet environment, when there's pressure put on them as a deadline is approaching. But just being able to study on the highs isn't good enough. You have to be able to study all the time. So learning how to refocus your mind on the lows and knowing the lows are going to end is a huge skill. The process is just as important as the actual prize because the process is going to make you. The deeper the process, the greater the reward. But when you have your purpose, when you have your mission, as Les Brown puts it, you begin to realize that your life is not over and the game does not stop just because you failed an exam or came into some difficulties with your study. To feel pain and rise up anyway and say the fight is not lost just because I failed in the first round. The game is not lost just because I got tackled or ran into an opposition. And many of you have ran into something, got some bruises or some cuts, and you're sitting on the sideline nursing your wounds when you need to get back up again and get back in the game. Stop wasting valuable time. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. You've got to learn how to be creative. You've got to learn how to be resourceful, to hold on in spite of everything. The power to endure. This is the winner's quality. What this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists and it becomes available only when a man or woman is in that state of mind and has a clear purpose and is fully determined to not Quit until they find it. You deserve this. Don't let anyone stop you. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You're in full control. Don't give up on yourself and live your life with purpose. It was only a few years ago that I found my purpose and that changed everything. 
I made a lot of mistakes when I was at high school because I didn't have purpose in my life. Click on the end card on the screen to watch the video I just uploaded on my second channel on why I failed high school and why I was consequently rejected from the universities I applied for. And I'll see you over there.